हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ मैथ्स इन टू मिनट्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म विल सी द थ्री क्वेश्चंस एट नाइन एंड टेन एंड दीज आर क्वेश्चंस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज फार एज द गेट नेट सेट एग्जामिनेशन आर कंसर्न एंड एज वेल एज फॉर द कंप्यूटर एग्जामिनेशन एंड द यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड यर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट द वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी साइन स्क्वेर टी अपॉन टी स्क्वेर डी टी बाय यूजिंग द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म इज गिवन बाय यू कैन इवेल्यूट दिस इंटीग्रल बाय यूजिंग द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म और बाय द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और बाय एनी अदर मेथड बट यू कॉन्ट गेट द आंसर बाय द इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट दिस इज द वेरी स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रल एंड इट्स आंसर इज वॉट पाए बाय टू वन मोर स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रल वी आर हैविंग दैट इज इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी इट इज साइन एक्स अपॉन एक्स डी एक्स दिस आंसर फॉर दिस इंटीग्रल इज ऑल्सो इज वॉट पाए बाय टू These questions were asked in the gate examination. So here the option A is correct. Next question: the Fourier transform of the signal f of x equals to e to the power minus 3x square is of the following form, where a and b are the constants. Four options are given to us. Now, if you find out this by the formula of Fourier transform, so it will be very lengthy and tedious task. I will provide you the short technique that is how to get the answer. And Fourier transform for this function will be similar to this. So, if you observe here, the option B is similar to this e to the power minus 3x square, where this a is the constant here, multiplied to the function e to the power minus b omega square. One more similar question we are having, which is very famous, that is given by f of x equals to e to the power minus x square by 2, and its Fourier transform will be given by it is a e to the power minus s square by 2, or we can write the omega in place of it is what s. So what we are doing actually here for finding the Fourier transform, we are just replacing it is what x by it is s, and we are getting the Fourier transform. These are the very standard function, and you have to remember the Fourier transform for such type of the functions. Here the options B is correct. Now next question, tenth one, match the atoms in column number one and two. So formulae are given to us, and we have to match that formulae. Four options are with us here A, B, C, D, and we have to choose which one is correct. So Fourier cosine transform formula will be given by the option number four. It is under root of two by pi zero to infinity f of x cos omega x and dx. So the P matches with the four. So we are having the option C only here where the P matches with the four. So this will be the correct. If you want to check whether the option C is correct or not, so you can verify the remaining entries. Q matches with one means Fourier sine transform is given by this formula. It is correct. Then finite Fourier cosine transform that will be given by the second number formula and finite Fourier sine transform is given by the third one. So the option C is correct option. Thank you so much for watching the video and please like and share the video with your friend if you get something from it and please do subscribe the channel Mathematics Ganit Sangra.